What's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to be showcasing the 2025 Dota 2 gameplay. Surprisingly, what I've found is a TL don't watch is that crossovers, the Windows version, actually runs a little bit better than the Mac version once you get all the shaders loaded. Um, so simply what I mean by this is if you've seen my previous videos on uh, Dota 2 playing on Mac, what that means is I'm running the Mac native version, aka just running Steam and running Dota 2. And what I'm currently running right now is the Dota 2 version running on crossovers, which is basically the Windows version of Dota 2. What I want to showcase here and kind of look at is like when I want to spam in Cataclysm as like a test to do sh shifting units and casting. But another thing is highlighting multiple units with the click drag. And this has been an issue that I currently have with Mac version of Dota 2 is that it's kind of there's some input lag or some kind of lag when you click down and select units. So I'm going to showcase now the Mac version and showcase what I'm talking about. All right, so I've adjusted the camera settings so I can kind of showcase the mouse if you could follow along here. So basically when you click down with the left click, um, you can see trying to select all these units. It like if, if I was playing on uh, Windows, I would have selected all the invoker units, but clicking through if you try to do it really quickly you don't end up selecting any of the units just like one unit so there's some kind of like the layer lag there so here i test out doing some invoker cast and spells and i'm pretty decent at invoker but you can see here trying to kind of get all the settings right there's some there's like a little bit of input delay which also in my opinion hinders the performance or the gameplay quality when playing dota 2 um so you are getting you can't see on screen but it's about 120 frames per second but with this input lag it's just kind of not really enjoyable not really playable the invoker test of mass mass spamming cataclysms does kind of work out a little bit not too much lag but um still with mac gaming there's also a thing where the shaders um kind of give you a mini lag when they first load so one thing you'll have to do when playing on mac gaming dota 2 is um kind of do this demo and kind of try to cast some spells so that everything loads properly before actually playing in a competitive game. So now going back to the Windows version, you could tell by the M Metal Gaming version running, um, I test out on the demo world where you could load your shaders. This is a problem with both Windows and the Mac version is you need to kind of open the game first so that when you play competitively it doesn't lag. But showcasing here, you're able to kind of get your combos off faster in my opinion. Um, doing the right click drag that I'm showing here on screen. It's like as soon as I click it instantly appears and you see here I'm able to instantly select all my units or in the Mac version. Um, I guess you just have to show me your test. I, I try to show it in the video but when you click down and drag it like takes one second to do that and when you're trying to at least if you're playing a hero where you have to micro um, you know it's just like a quality of life issue like when you're playing on Windows to instantly select your units versus not. So surprisingly with all the improvements of crossover, it's currently running on 25 beta beta four, which kind of came out. I released a video, uh, my last video is on Red Dead Redemption. Um, you get decent performance. So you're seeing kind of the weird state of Mac gaming where I've heard even in Boulder's Gate, the crossover Windows Steam version runs better than the Mac native version. And then they just released PAL World. Um, which doesn't have crossplay, so it's kind of this weird state where it's like maybe just Mac needs to like fully develop into supporting the Windows versions with this emulation, or or maybe even release um, kind of like Windows Bootcamp ARM, or Windows needs to like find a way to patch stuff. But yeah, surprising state of Dota 2 in 2025 is that. If you haven't tested it out, try running crossovers or even whiskey um, if you prefer free and testing out Dota 2. So that could be something to get better performance um, and better input latency, less input latency. So yeah, just some state of gaming. This was on M1 Max and on, on the Windows version, I'm getting like 60 to 70 FPS, but on the Mac version, you get input lag, but around 100 to 120 frames per second. So yeah, let me know what you guys think.